I'm Sarah Pylon. Today I'm going to turn some 32 gallon trash cans into water catchers so that I can use the rainwater for the garden that I'm going to be building and planting this summer. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to do it together and it's going to be fine. Um, I picked up this DIY rain barrel diverter and parts kit from Menards. It was $32. And this is what I'm going to use. Now the water is just going to be used for watering the garden. We're not going to be drinking it. No animals are going to be drinking it. And it is totally legal in North Dakota to catch rainwater. I think it's kind of ridiculous that some states it's illegal, but that's beside the point. I picked up one of these 32 gallon trash cans from Menards. They were on sale for $11. I picked up two of them. First, I'm gonna wash this out. And then the nice thing about this rain barrel kit, it literally came with everything that I need. Um, as far as it comes with a the drill hole to drill into the downspout, the diverter, the hose, like literally everything that I need in one kit, which is awesome. And then we'll figure out the spigot that we're gonna stick on it. All right, so I think I'm gonna be drilling the hole for the spigot in this front area. Okay, so I'm gonna put the spigot just a couple inches above here. All right, we're using the smallest of the hole saws. So this one has like a fill hose that goes into here and then it connects up to the diverter that we will put into the downspout. First we gotta go put the, we gotta go outside. All right, I got my bucket out here and I got two cinder blocks for the bucket to sit on. Try and get this thing cut. I'm not taking this larger hole seal. Hope it opened up. And... Oh. That's for winterizing. Okay.
so we're gonna do it with a fancy kit. Get the lid on and call it good. I think the other one I'm gonna do a little bit cheaper route. There you have it, a little rain catcher, 32 gallons. Lots of water. I would definitely recommend one of these kits for somebody who just wants everything there for them ready to go. So there is a piece in here that fits inside and opens up. It's the size of the drain pipe. And the reason this has to be pretty straight is because once the water gets up to here, this kit will allow the water to continue to be used down the drain spout and will not overflow the bucket. So it's really handy for that reason. I am back to work on this second rain barrel and I was very torn about some things. So I had shared on my Instagram that I had made this rain barrel to catch the rainwater that was coming off of our roof on one of our downspouts. And one of my sister-in-laws reached out to me and was just like, hey, just so you know, it's really not recommended to use roof water in your garden or on your plants that you're going to eat. It's fine for like flowers, trees, bushes, whatever, but for food that you're going to consume, it's like not really recommended. And I was like, shoot, well, maybe I don't even want to set up a second one. So I was reading up on it on a couple different studies that some universities had done. And most of the concerns that they had don't really apply to my area because it's a new neighborhood. Like we don't have big trees. We don't have squirrels, which sounds so weird. We just don't have squirrels because we don't have trees. And a lot of them had said, as long as it's poured directly on the soil versus like over plant watering, it should be fine because the roots of plants tend to filter out all the bad things. So because of that, we're gonna build the second one. <laughs> and this one is gonna be for a lot cheaper than the first one. The first one I used that kit that was like 30 bucks. What if I just use this? Can I just use this as my spigot? Right? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. These are just leftovers from the kit that I bought. And this was a this was for like if you wanted like overflow or you wanted to connect it to another barrel. But I'm just gonna reuse it for this. This guy was kind of hard to get in the last one, but. <laughs> it said like the easiest way was like doing this. Please don't pinch my fingers. Ah! Okay. That's like that. It's beautiful. And see, this has like a valve on it, so I don't know why I couldn't just use this. I think it's a great solution. All right. Cool, I'm gonna be able to return these things. All right, so now I'm gonna use So the idea is I'll cut a hole here, set this in like this, and then the lid will sit on top of the barrel like this, catching rainwater and whatnot. Are 
supposed to cut this? Good. So this kind of sits in there. And then I will, I don't know, how am I going to attach that down? I'll put this under here for uh, support. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to staple this down. We're going to have to pry it up from the wood. And then uh, we'll bend the uh, staples back. Again, this is going to be on the inside of the can, but I also just don't want to get stabbed. <laughs> Auto work, right? Like this. And then I have bungee cords that I'm gonna to connect to the, the handles down to the bottom. Uh, I think I'm gonna to need to go get my water boots on and a jacket. And then take everything outside. So it is currently not raining outside. So I'm gonna be able to bring my phone out to record me setting it up. Um, I see my neighbor out walking her dog, so. I'm <laughs> Let her go by and then get everything set up. I have to bring out the two cinder blocks. Actually, first I have to clear out. We have this giant ice chunk grow on the side of our house. Like sometime in the winter, I think it was January, like our hose somehow turned on. And we had this massive ice chunk on the side of our house. So I have to move that first. And then I can bring the cement blocks into the backyard and get cutting into the gutters before the next rain chunk comes. This was the ice chunk in which I was referring to.
Now listen, is it the greatest setup in the world? Probably not. Once this ice is gone, I will be able to push this up against the house. But, I think that's pretty good. That was something. <laughs> I uh, did not think that it was gonna be as difficult as it was. People who work with rain gutters, all power to you because those things are a pain. Wow. And probably if I would have at least cut it where I was supposed to the first time, I wouldn't have had to recut it two different times, but I got it all set up, hopefully it works. I'm excited to use them this summer when it comes to my garden beds, which I will be building here in the next like week or so. You'll definitely wanna subscribe so then you can catch those videos because these garden beds are gonna be very user friendly. They don't require any major tools or hardly any tools for that matter. And I'm just really pumped to share that whole process with you. If you found this video helpful, inspirational, or at least entertaining in any way, shape, or form, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time.